12 catalytic converters stolen in a matter of hours in New Jersey. It all happened overnight on the west side of Teaneck. Police now on the hunt for who did it. Here's New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson. This is what the owner of one of the vehicles heard when she started her car this morning. There were at least a dozen thefts of catalytic converters on the west side of Teaneck overnight. I got up this morning, drive my son to school, turned the car on, and it sounded like a stampede of bison. The suspects were seen on camera as they walked into driveways to find the vehicles they were targeting. Guys wearing dark hoodies. I mean, they know what they're doing. They didn't show their faces. And my husband said it took all three minutes. The crimes all took place in close proximity and near the highway, giving the thieves easy access to escape. But they were seen driving away in what authorities describe as a dark colored SUV. Uh, three in the morning, I heard a noise right outside our bedroom window. Uh, it sounded like a mechanical noise, and I was alert to it because I had heard there were a lot of catalytic converter thefts in the area. Got out of bed just to see the taillights heading up the block. Catalytic converters are a choice item for thieves because they are made with very valuable metal. It's not just the part. They cut through the pipe. They cut through the wiring. It, it's a huge repair. The criminals that struck in Teaneck were looking for very specific vehicles, namely Hondas, including Pilots, Accords, CRVs, and an Odyssey, along with one Mitsubishi that now all require expensive repairs. The police chief here in Teaneck says if you hear the sound of power saws in the middle of the night, call police immediately.